No! No, no! Oh my gosh! It's Mouse and Harnish back in my blue kitchen with some blue hair for another anti-MLM video. Before I get into this video, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the support you guys have been showing me. I honestly have just been so interested in MLMs and also just bad business practices in general and wanted to make videos about it just kind of for fun and to see other people actually relating to what I have to say or agreeing with it is just like crazy and still mind-blowing to me. Today, I wanted to talk about an MLM distributor who pushes the humbot boundaries to caring levels that I've never seen before. Her antics remind me of a childhood bully and I have no respect for her or the companies that she pushes. Which is why today I will be mentioning her name and the names of the companies that she advertises. Usually I'd have respect for other people and not mention their name and not show their face, but honestly, the shady practices that this person has done are just beyond levels of respecting someone's privacy anymore. When you've done countless immoral things like this person has, I'm sorry, but you need to be held accountable. Today, I'm going to be talking about Kim Mitchell and all of her scammery. Most importantly, I'll be discussing the bizarre beads that she sells and advertises all over her Facebook page. It gets crazy. If you like MLM content, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up before we get into the video. I also want to do a series where I talk about other businesses aside from MLM companies that have really shady practices or just do really sketchy things. So let me know in the comments if you wanna see videos like that. And well, let's get into the video. Before we get into these bizarre magic beads, let's talk a little bit more about Kim Mitchell and who she is as a person. Many in the anti-MLM community may already know who Kim Mitchell is. She's kind of made a name for herself but not in a positive way. Kim Mitchell, or KM as she's often called, is known for her many, many, many controversies. Kim is an orange level presenter with the MLM company Unique. Unique is an MLM scheme that does mainly makeup products, but besides being so involved in the Unique Pyramid scheme, here are some other kind of negative things that Kim Mitchell is known for. Kim constantly is on her phone and making posts while driving, even when her kids are in the car. Kim has also taken part in what seems to be a charity scam. Basically, Kim and one of her like distributors went on this live stream and talked about a cancer charity that they were doing, raised a bunch of money, and then completely ghosted everyone and went dead silent about the charity. Like, seriously. You hear me talk about her frequently. You hear me talk about um, the girls. Um, and so um, we need your help with something. And so we wanted to come here and ask for help. What we're going to do is I'm gonna let her talk in just a second, but I wanna go over a few things quickly, okay? So the first thing is we cannot give the location of the hospital. We cannot talk about the girls' names. Um, we have to be extremely, extremely vague. The reason that we're doing a cash app and not GoFundMe and all that malarkey is because we just can't yet. The worst part of all of that was that the charity was about giving young children who are dealing with cancer or struggling with cancer clothing and um, they raised sympathy by describing these children in this hospital who had no clothing at all. I um, volunteer for a uh, hospital, I'm not gonna say which one, but and I work on the uh, pediatric wing. And when I went to uh, start to volunteer, I came across these girls. I found out that they were wards of the state. They have no families whatsoever, none. Nobody comes and visits them but me and my family. It's because I needed it. I needed to get those girls summer clothes. Yeah. I got them underwear and white t-shirts, and that's what they set in for three days until I could get those girls clothes because they had nothing. People don't realize that their chemotherapy and their um, radiation that they go through, they get holes in their clothes when they sweat. 
it really was like the most doing the most to get the sympathy card to get people to want to get involved because i mean sick children is literally like one of the most like saddest things ever so yeah they like raised a bunch of support a bunch of interest and then just like went silent about the whole thing completely silent and that's really sketchy a lot of people a lot 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 of people believe that they basically scammed everyone and just took the money honestly like what kind of person raises money under the guise of helping sick children and then completely goes silent and takes the money and runs like that's just such a sick thing to do in my opinion and just kind of shows what type of person km is in my opinion. Kim also has this like following that she calls her tribe, which I literally hate the word tribe. I don't know, it feels so like cheesy, but also like manipulative. Like, oh, we're a tribe, we stick together. It's like, no, you're a person who's trying to get something from me, AKA my money. Like, no, we're not a tribe. She calls them her tribe and basically uses cult-like practices on her tribe or her following and also bullies them literally her own following she like literally bullies and treats terribly and just creates this toxic environment like some sort of like high school bully it's so bad and oh yeah km also heavily uses affiliate codes which we'll talk a little bit more about later but she doesn't disclose any of them or let anyone know that they're affiliate codes, which are against FTC regulations, which we know is illegal to do. Why are my cats going crazy literally the moment I decide to film? I feel like they can sense my energy and that I'm riled up from this, but anyways. But hands down, the most bizarre thing that Kim has done is continually promote these like bracelet beads, bracelet beads, that like have magical healing properties like what even the pearl video that i did earlier when the mlm pump bots were like revealing these magical colored pearls they weren't saying that these pearls will like cure your depression and anxiety they were just like look it it's a fun pearl it's like fun colors that's pretty cool literally this woman is claiming that bracelet beads can help cure like a variety of ailments like what who believes that? Who does? She has claimed that these beads can cure things such as lupus, cancer, heart disease, depression, anxiety, and many, many other illnesses. KM has literally posted testimonials on her Facebook page of people claiming that they've stopped taking their medication in turn for using these beads or wearing these beads as if she's proud of that. Like, this is not something to be proud of. You're literally, like, potentially harming people who have stopped taking medication that was prescribed to them in turn for just wearing a bead because you claimed that it'll help them with whatever they're dealing with. Like, you're putting so many people in harm's way. Not good, Kim, not good, not good. It's also completely illegal to advertise anything with scientific or medical claims that you cannot back up or prove. It's illegal. KM needs to get herself in check. So let's dive deeper into what these magic beads are and how Kim chooses to advertise them on her page. I initially came across a post about these magic beads here and I tried to find out who this person was but I couldn't find anything I had to do a lot of digging to try and find out who the presenter was and what the company was but when I found out that it was Kim Mitchell that was talking about these beads I really wasn't surprised a lot of the posts also call this company BS beads but if you try to look up BS beads not a lot comes up it's like everything's very hidden and really hard to find which is why I'm going to unveil all of it for you guys today. I only was able to find this company by going onto Kim Mitchell's page directly. What's interesting is I noticed something about the way that she advertises this beads company as well as other companies that she's affiliated with that I think in her head is a way of skating around the FTC regulations. But before we go into that, let's look at some really, really cringy posts made by her regarding these BS beads. Now, some of these are going to be posts that I found myself, and some of these are gonna be from the anti-MLM community, hence why 
Sometimes her profile and picture is crossed out and sometimes it's not. Here's here's the first post and probably the funniest one. <laughs> um, since we tell each other everything, let's talk about the bracelets I needed to wear when I got done swimming tonight. I love how manipulative that is too. Like, since we tell each other everything, you're my tribe, I tell you everything. No, you just tell me what to buy. I have mentioned to you that they aid in um bowel issues, specifically constipation. Yes, ew, but I know I'm not the only one that has issues from time to time. Shh, don't talk about it. How is this possible? Dalmatian Jasper has the most noticeable vibration of all the others. I can physically feel the vibrations at times. I look down thinking my Apple Watch is vibrating from a text message. It helps with digestion by assisting in the breakdown of food. Yada, 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 discount code, yada, yada, yada. She literally made a post about how a bracelet helps you poop. Literally. Here are just some funny um, Reddit comments that I saw about this particular post. Poop bracelet. Vibrating poop bracelet. Shakes the poo right out of you. She's full of in more ways than one. <laughs> Ain't enough Dalmatian Jasper in the world to rid her of the copious amounts of that she's full of. So yeah, that was really funny. Someone also said that they have a scratch on their arm that was cured by just putting the bracelet around it. It's just like, some of the, it's just crazy. Another really sad testimonial that she posted is, I have stage four chronic kidney disease. My labs went up 7%. That has never happened in two years. It's so sad because a lot of times when people have a really, really intense disease, like stage four kidney disease, they're looking for any solution possible. So if you're claiming that this solution is gonna help them with that, they're likely to try it because they're desperate. And this is just taking advantage of that in very sick ways. Yeah, and these bracelets, when you see her wearing them, they literally look like cheap Mardi Gras bracelets. It's just, so bad. KM also made this post about her Termaline bracelets saying they basically help you lose weight. And it's just like, yeah, a bead helps you lose weight. A beaded bracelet helps you lose weight. I was a personal trainer for a little bit and weight loss is such a complex, hard journey. And it just like makes me cringe in an, a level of intensity that I've never felt before to see someone recommend using a bracelet to lose weight. This post I think is just really funny. I'm just gonna read a little bit of it because it literally, the first sentence is vulnerability ahead and science. Science about a bracelet letting you lose weight. It's no secret that I have struggled with weight and my swollen ankles for a very long time. I know you have heard me talk about the bracelets I've been wearing. I am here to scream it from the rooftops. They work better than you can imagine. So what is this science that she speaks of? Today, quartz makes up 12% of the Earth's crust and is used in almost every kind of technology including timekeeping, electronics, information storage, and more. If it's possible for crystals to communicate through computer chips, then isn't it possible that this vibrational energy could be transformed in other ways? And with its connection to the earth and its life-giving elements, it makes sense that crystals are universally healing. Where does that talk about science linked to quartz causing weight loss? Where? Kim, tell me. Where is the science about quartz causing weight loss? Where? Especially, and not only that, but your specific tourmaline bracelet. Where is the clinical trials and studies that that causes weight loss? I'm sorry I'm getting heated, but oh my God, to say that you have science about what this does, and then to bring up how quartz is 12% of the Earth's crust, that's your science of why you need to buy this bracelet to lose weight? No, 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 oh my gosh. It just, it makes me so heated and angry. I'm upset, I am upset. The funniest part of this all is that her like 
tribe, her tribe, literally have posted photos of their bracelet that's supposed to have this like specific color, literally fading in color over time, which shows that it's not an actual stone, but probably just a dyed bead. Similar to Vantel pearls that I discussed and them just dyeing pearls, I highly, highly do not doubt that that is the case with this company. I mean, there just seems to be no level that this woman will not stoop to. No low level this woman won't stoop to. Does that make sense? Hopefully. So of course, after me reading all those posts, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, how do I get my hands on these magical beads? And here's where things get really strange. No, actually the poop claims is where things get strange. Here's where things get even stranger. If you look on a post of hers where she's advertising these beads, you'll see she doesn't link to the company's website itself. No, instead she links to her own personal website. On her personal website, which is called her favorites website, that's where she advertises all the links to what she talks about. I think that Kim thinks that by doing this, she's able to skate around FTC regulations. She's not actually linking the company's website. So you could technically say she's not actually linking in that post her affiliate link. Instead, she's linking a link that links to her affiliate links. So I think that she literally thinks that that's how she can skate around FTC regulations and guidelines, which is still like so shady and it's still illegal. You're still talking about a company that you're affiliated with and giving an indirect link that's an affiliate link. Like that's still illegal, Kim. You're not skating around anything. You're just being a shady person in general. Like seriously, what a dum-dum. In order to find this like bead company, you have to click on Kim's website and then find the link to 20% off using her code for this bead company and then click on that as well and it finally directs you to the company this company's official name is bombshell beads hence bs beads bombshell beads and boy these mardi gras beads are pricey when i found the home page and scrolled down and saw that they were selling beads for $685, my eyes lit up in flames. To even think that someone who follows KM may have possibly spent $685 on these magical beads is heartbreaking and should be so shameful for Kim. But obviously Kim has no shame or even a moral compass in what she does. Of course, since not enough BS has been peddled, by BS Beads. Uh, they have a guide to their beads and charms on their website, which goes over all the benefits of their supposed beads. And of course, you have to go down the entire list to find at the very bottom some extremely tiny print that says, this guide is not intended to diagnose or prescribe as means of healing. Yeah, sure but you tell everyone that it does this thing and you post about all the cures that it has done, but yet it's not intended to diagnose or treat anything. All of this is so wrong and distasteful that it's almost unbelievable. We need to work to stop this. This is too much. Kim, I'm sorry, needs to be stopped. I really, really want to emphasize at the end of this video, please, please don't say anything mean or hateful to Kim. And that's not because I don't want justice to be brought on to Kim or that I think any of it would be deserving. You shouldn't say anything mean or hateful to Kim because it's just going to provoke her to keep doing what she's doing. It gives her the victim card that she gets to play. And honestly, she doesn't deserve the victim card. The cancer children that she scammed out of getting clothing deserve the victim card. The people that have serious diseases that are buying $600 bracelets deserve the victim card. Kim does not. So please don't say anything mean or hateful to her and allow her to have that card. Instead, there is something else that we can do. We can report Kim to the FTC. Please, everyone who cares as much about this situation as I do, 
click the link below, right below this video. It'll take you to the FTC website where you can report Kim Mitchell and all the things that she has done because it's just so wrong and we need to stop this. It is time for MLM Humbots to learn that false claims and lack of affiliate disclosures will no longer be tolerated. And if you do help out and report Kim Mitchell, thank you. It's really time for this to stop. And I think with all the anti-MLM content coming out now and the community that is gathering, we really can make a positive change. Of course, if you enjoy this video and wanna see more anti-MLM and bad business practice content, please subscribe below. Leave a comment down below if you have any other MLM companies that you want me to do a video on. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, have a good one.